Hello friends and welcome back to It's Cocktail Time. Today we're going to make Caribbean Punch. Now the Caribbean Punch, this recipe, uh, was created by the great Simon Difford of Difford's Guide and it's got a lot of ingredients but knowing him because he's such a master at this, this is going to taste wonderful. So let's get started. We're going to start with a shaker with no ice and to this we're going to add uh, two and a quarter ounces of white rum. Now it is supposed to be white overproof rum, but I, I want to be honest with you, I have like five different kinds of rum in my house already, and I didn't feel like going out and getting overproof rum and having six bottles of rum in my house. I just didn't want to. So if you're going to make this, you're actually supposed to use white overproof rum. I am using white regular proof rum, uh, Bacardi. Sorry, but that's it. <laughs> so pretend like it's overproof. Two and a quarter ounces. One and two and just a little. Okay. We are going to take half an ounce of amaretto, which tastes like almonds, and half an ounce of coconut rum. Two kinds of rum. Yum. Okay. We are going to take just a quarter ounce of Galliano, which just to refresh your memory, tastes kind of like vanilla with um, like black licorice underneath it. Mostly vanilla, little black licorice. Just a quarter ounce of this. All right, now we've got pineapple juice and we're gonna put three ounces of pineapple juice in here. It's a lot, let's see if I can measure this out. Okay. We then take three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice, which I've already measured. And last but not least, a quarter ounce of grenadine, which is just sweet yumminess. Add sweetness and color. All right. Now that we've added these two, three, four, five, seven ingredients, good lord, seven ingredients to this uh, to this shaker, we're now going to add our ice. We are going to shake it up. I just have oh, a little spillage. Okay. Well, it tastes good so far. All right. Let's see if I can do this without spilling anymore. Maybe not. Mm. Okay. When we are done shaking and messing up our tablecloth, yikes, we will strain this cocktail into a Collins glass full of ice. All right. This drink is garnished with a lime twist. What do we do with a twist? We run it around the edge of the glass. We squeeze to get that little couple of drops of oil from the rind into the cocktail, and then we dump it in. And we try the Caribbean Punch by Simon Dipper. Uh, it's good, but it's strong. You can taste that there's a lot of alcohol in here. Wow. Mm. Okay, um, I'm used to drinks that are this sweet uh, masking the flavor of the alcohol, but that's not what's happening here. So we've got, you know, just a shit ton of alcohol. Uh, two kinds of rum, we've got amaretto, we've got galliano, that's a lot of, a lot of alcohol going on. Um, tempered somewhat by the lemon juice, the, gren the grenadine and the uh, pineapple juice, but not tempered so much that you can't taste it. In some ways that's actually a good thing, right? Because um, this isn't one of those drinks where uh, your drunkenness will creep up on you. You can actually taste the alcohol, which uh, makes it kind of easier to gauge how much you've had, at least in my opinion. You know, those drinks that are just very, very sugary where you can't taste the alcohol, you're wasted before you even realize it, right? You have one of them, they taste really good, you slurp it down, then you have another one, and suddenly you're like, ooh, <laughs> right? I mean, I am, I guess I'm not the only one, <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> um, but with this alcohol, with this drink, um, you can taste the alcohol content along with the sweetness. So that's actually um, a safer drink in many ways because you will be able to tell when you're getting too wasted, I think, if you drink this. Um, it, it's good, I like it. Um, it is, I, I can taste why it's called a punch because it does have sort of this melding of fruity flavors. Let's see. Um, so we've got the coconut and the coconut rum. We've got the, um, the anisette flavor underlying the vanilla flavor of the Galliano, anisette flavor being the black licorice flavor. We've got the pineapple. You know, it's all sort of muddled together along with the, the almond flavor of the amaretto. Um, yeah, I mean, it is, it is like a, a, an alcohol punch, definitely, um, but you can taste the alcohol, which as I said, 
the more I think about it, the more I like that. I think that's a good thing. I recommend this. Drink up. Enjoy.